Corporation of Sri Lanka. Your help is our concern. The time is precisely 6:15 p.m. This is the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Here is the news edited by Catherine Pereira and read by Chandima Virakon. The headlines. The president says that the government's decision to grant land rights to citizens is globally unprecedented. China assures fullest support to conclude Sri Lanka's debt restructuring process. Japan's foreign minister Yoko Kamakiwa called on President Ranil Wickremesinghe at the presidential secretariat. Japan's intention to further support Sri Lanka's development. 10 billion rupees has been allocated to conduct the election. Mexico authorities find three bodies in search for tourists. Local stories in detail. President Ranil Wickremesinghe hailed the government's decision to grant free land rights to the people as a groundbreaking step, emphasizing that no other nation has undertaken such a massive initiative to date. The president made these remarks while participating in the inaugural event for distributing freehold land deeds to Mahavali settlers as part of the Urumaya program at Pulunaru Royal Central College this morning. emphasizing the principle that as one section of the population benefits from the country's economy another should not be left to suffer the president underscored that the revolutionary initiative of granting free land titles was launched to uplift low income individuals he urged the people to actively participate in building the economy in collaboration with the government's agricultural modernization program highlighting the potential for polonnaruwa to become a key export district in the country The president highlighted his achievement in swiftly stabilizing the country's economy with the help of one group despite inheriting a government initially opposed by all. He extended an invitation to all sectors to collaborate in bolstering the nation's economy over the next 2 to 3 years, aiming to secure a prosperous future for the youth. The Sri Lanka Mahavali Authority has outlined plans to prepare 204,002 freehold deeds with ongoing preparations at all regional levels. It is anticipated that 20,178 freehold deeds will be distributed to Mahavali settlers by the end of May. China assured its fullest support and cooperation to conclude the debt restructuring process in Sri Lanka, State Minister of Finance Shahan Semasinghe said. He said he had a productive meeting with the Vice Minister of Finance of China, Liu Amin, during the ADB annual meeting in Tbilisi, Georgia. I had a productive meeting with the Vice Minister of Finance of China, Liu Amin, during the ADB annual meeting in Tbilisi, Georgia. At this discussion, China assured its fullest support and cooperation to conclude the debt restructuring process in Sri Lanka. Further China reaffirmed its steadfast support to Sri Lanka on all fronts he said in a message posted on X Japan's foreign minister Yoko Kamikawa called on President Ranil Wickremesinghe at the presidential secretariat The meeting highlighted crucial discussions surrounding Sri Lanka's ongoing debt restructuring process, economic recovery endeavors and prospective investment initiatives by Japan within Sri Lanka. During the discussions, both parties emphasized the importance of bilateral cooperation in addressing Sri Lanka's economic challenges. The Japanese Minister of Foreign Affairs Yoko Kamikawa conveyed Japan's intention to further support Sri Lanka's development by swiftly resuming existing yen loan projects once a memorandum of understanding on debt restructuring is signed and the Sri Lankan government's intention to swiftly conclude bilateral agreement is confirmed addressing a joint media briefing this afternoon 
with his Sri Lankan counterpart, Sri Lanka's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Ali Sabri, Ms. Kamikawa expressed Japan's intention to continue to support Sri Lanka's ongoing efforts for national reconciliation. Meanwhile, she mentioned that various reforms that Sri Lanka is currently undertaking are all essential for the normalization of the Sri Lanka's economy. Furthermore, Japan and Sri Lanka are both island nations surrounded by the sea. Japan intends to further strengthen cooperation with Sri Lanka in the maritime domain in order to realize an open Indo-Pacific, the Japanese foreign minister expressed. The Japanese envoy said Japan is hopeful that Sri Lanka will bring itself back on track for economic development as soon as possible and make further progress as the hub in the Indian Ocean. Japan will continue to stand by Sri Lanka through this endeavor, she added. This news comes to you from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation. Continuing with the local stories, State Minister Ranjit Simbalapitiya says that the finances allocated to conduct elections from the last budget is ready provide at any time. Accordingly, 10 billion rupees have been allocated in this regard. He made these remarks at a media briefing held yesterday. He also stated that presidential election will be conducted first. To conclude the local news, the headlines again. The President says that the government's decision to grant land rights to citizens is globally unprecedented. China assures fullest support to conclude Sri Lanka's debt restructuring process. Japan's Foreign Minister Yoko Kamikawa called on President Ranil Vikramasinghe at the Presidential Secretariat. Japan's intention to further support Sri Lanka's development. 10 billion rupees have been allocated to conduct the elections. That came to you in the local segment of news. The main news story is brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. Moving on to the main news story, Coconut Development Authority says that 19,131 million rupees have been received as income from the export of coconut-related products during the month of March this year. More than 30,000 metric tons of coir have been exported and received 5,725 million rupees of income. It is an increase of 29% with compared to the March last year. 3,122 million rupees have been earned from the export coconut milk. That came to you in the main news story. The main news story was brought to you by Siddhalepa Vedamahatma. Taking a look at Watchlight, it has been decided to restrict local pilgrims from climbing Sri Pada or the Adams Peak during the off-season. Consequently, all local pilgrims and travellers will be barred from assessing the Sri Pada Reserve via any route. The Sri Pada pilgrimage season is set to conclude on 24th May 2024. Accordingly, only foreigners will be permitted to undertake the pilgrimage during this period. That came to you in Watchlight. Moving on to the world news, the headlines first. Mexico authorities find three bodies in search for tourists. China rocket blasts off for far side of moon. Japan calls Biden xenophobic, comments unfortunate. Mexican authorities have found three bodies in an area of Baja, California, where two Australian brothers and an American went missing. The FBI said the bodies were found in the town of Santa Thomas and have not yet been identified. The BBC's U.S. partner, CBS News, reported. They were on a surfing holiday near the popular tourist town of Ensenada. They disappeared on the 27th of April. On Thursday, Mexican police questioned a woman and two men in connection with their disappearance. Forensic tests will be conducted by a state laboratory to identify the bodies, the state of Baja, California, prosecutor's office said. China has launched a probe to collect samples from the far side of the moon in what is being built a world first. An uncrewed rocket carrying the Shen E6 probe blasted off from the Wenshang Space Launch Center today. The 53-day mission aims to bring around 2 kilograms of lunar samples to Earth for analysis. 
It will try to relaunch from the side of the moon facing away from Earth. This is sometimes described as the dark side of the moon because it can't be seen from Earth, not because it does not catch the sun's rays. The labeling of Japan as xenophobic by Joe Biden was unfortunate and not based on an accurate understanding of the country, Japan's U.S. Embassy says. The U.S. President said during a campaign fundraising event earlier this week that Japan, India, China and Russia don't want immigrants. The White House has said he meant no offense and was merely highlighting U.S. immigration policies. The comment, however, has drawn scorn from some U.S. and foreign observers. To end the segment of World News, the headlines again. Mexico authorities find three bodies in search for tourists. China rocket blasts off for far side of moon. Japan calls Biden xenophobic comments unfortunate. That came to you in World News. Development News And on the development news, the Ports, Shipping and Aviation Ministry has formulated plans for the development of the Gaul port into a tourist port. The plans entail the construction of two backwaters measuring 850 metres and 150 metres respectively. Additionally, the harbour basin will be dredged to a depth of 12.05 metres and a new passenger terminal will be built. That came to you in development news. Moving on with sports news. And on sports news, the semi-final match of the T20 World Championship tournament between Sri Lanka women and UAE women team will be held tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Sri Lanka has secured the victory over American women's team by 18 runs yesterday. That was sports news. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, near metal set winner. As for Hagena, the Kupuina, Habakarana, youth ticket, near metal set winner, friendship at a mender. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. Business News, sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Sri Lanka tourism arrivals are projected to surpass the 2 million mark by the end of 2024 and most importantly are expected to exceed pre-pandemic levels by 2025. Tourist arrivals have consistently exceeded expectations since the fourth quarter of 2023, signalling a robust recovery trajectory for the hotels and tourism sector. That was Business News. Business News. Sponsored by National Savings Bank, the safest place for your money. Go ekatiana youth ticket, life ticket, change ticket, near metal set winner. As for Hagena, then the Puina, have a Karana. Youth ticket, near metal set winner, friendship at a mender. The all new NSB Ithrumitru account, NSB I am, a plan for your dream. And on the economic news, Elevating the user experience of social media enthusiasts across Sri Lanka, SLT Mobitel has introduced a first-of-its-kind Snapchat Chill Social Combo mobile plan, specifically designed to empower the social media lovers to stay connected and share their moments by providing essential data and communication services. The Social Combo mobile plan offers a range of benefits, including a dedicated social media bundle with options for 1 day, 7 days or 30 days versions, based on user preference and convenience. That was Economic News. Weather Report and finally, we take a look at the weather report. Showers or thunder showers will occur at a few places in western and Sabragamu provinces and in Gaul and Matra districts in the evening or at night. Misty conditions can be expected at some places in western and Sabragamu provinces and in Gaul and Matra districts during the morning. That was the weather report. And to conclude this bulletin of news, the headlines again. The President says that the government's decision to grant land rights to citizens is globally unprecedented. China assures fullest support to conclude Sri Lanka's debt restructuring process. 
Japan's Foreign Minister Yoko Kamikawa called on President Ranil Wickremesinghe at the Presidential Secretariat. Japan's intention to further support Sri Lanka's development. 10 billion rupees has been allocated to conduct elections. Mexico authorities find three bodies in search for tourists. With that we conclude this bulletin of news from the Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation.